round of applause for that intro, guys. But what is going on, guys? Nanoprint93 here with another video. So basically, in this video, I'm going to show you guys my final desk setup tour for my iPad Pro. Since we're moving here in less than two weeks, I'm going to take this all apart. And I wanted to give it one final hoorah, or one, you know, one final video to do its justice because this thing has transformed over the last year. And I'm really, really happy with how it came out, aside from the cable management, guys. But really excited to get this started. And then also excited to build out the new one. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned if you guys want to see a brand new desk setup tour get built out from scratch, guys. But let's get started. So the whole point of this video, especially since we're moving in less than two weeks, is I want to give you guys one last desk setup tour for my iPad Pro. So let's hop right into it with the desk, right? The desk is the mainstay of the actual desk setup. The desk is made by Autonomous. I've had this desk for about six months now at this point. I'll link them below. I think this desk is about $550, maybe to $650. It's the first smart desk that I've ever owned, and you can I went with the white on white, so white wood on top, white legs. Yes, it goes as low as 29.5 inches and as high as like 40, mid 40. So this is not even as high as it goes, and I'm 5'11. So it's above my waist right now, and this is perfect standing height. And then also, you tuck your chair underneath to kind of get rid of everything. So this desk is by Autonomous. It's got four programmable, you know, height changes that you can put. So you can have like a standing and a sitting for two different people. And then obviously you have the manual controls right here, which is just moving up. And you have to see that it's very quiet. So that's the autonomous desk. I've been wanting to get a correlating chair with it or the chair that goes along with it, but I haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. This chair is just from Ikea that I've had for like five years and it's still going strong. So this is definitely coming with me and this desk setup is gonna be very similar down in Florida, except with a lot better cable management, guys, because I know that's a big one. That's a big one for everybody. But so that's the desk itself. And then let's go with basically from left to right. So if we continue on from left to right on the desk, on the left hand side, back left corner, I have my four in one Pitaka quad charger. I forget, I forget the exact name of it. I know that they have the Omni charger now and that's been out for a little while. That's a six in one. This is the four in one. So it charges AirPods or any other wireless headphones wirelessly. It charges any phone wirelessly. It has a lightning port so you can charge any iPad or any iPhone. And then it also has an Apple Watch charger. So it's a four in one. And then the Air Omni, what they did was they added, what they did was they added an extra USB-A port and then a USB-C port. And then that lightning one in the back, you can actually switch to a USB-C. So that's what the Air Omni does versus what I have here. And I am gonna get my hands on the Air Omni here soon. So if we continue on from left to right, you have my little stand. This stand I actually got on Etsy. I looked at a bunch on Amazon. I even ordered one and they're all terrible. They're all pretty ugly. They're all like black, they're all plastic. It was either plastic or metal. And the wood ones weren't, they didn't have any of the colors that I wanted on the wood finishes. So what I did was, I made my first ever purchase on Etsy, got myself this guy. It was a little bit expensive, it was about 60 bucks and it did take about two months to get here. Keep in mind, I did order this pretty much prime time, you know, quarantine COVID. So, and it was coming from overseas, so it did take two months to get here. It wasn't faulting anybody and I expect that to happen, but just to let you guys know before you do order something like that. So that's my first and only purchase from Etsy and I do kind of like it. And then on top of that, we have an Acer 24 inch monitor. It's an HDMI monitor, very old, about four years old now at this point. This is gonna be one of the first things that I replace once I get down there, but, but it was a hand-me-down, so I can't complain. Really, really like this guy. The colors aren't super accurate, but for the price, I think the newer model of the, the newest version of this model is about 120 bucks. So it's hard to complain for such a thin, bezeled, and futuristic looking monitor, especially one that's from 2016, right? So if we then go underneath the stand, then we just have a, Mouse pad, so a trackpad from Apple, which I gotta clean up, cause these actually don't get any use whatsoever. And then the keyboard itself. So the compact keyboard. So I always have those just down there as a just in case. So this thing has actually worked wonders for me. I actually got myself a Thunderbolt 3 dock, and I've mentioned this before to you guys, and you know, I learned the hard way that the iPad Pro does not have Thunderbolt 3 support. You know, if I had a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro, then it would've worked, but but with the iPad Pro, that one didn't work, so I had to get a USB-C dock and not a Thunderbolt 3 dock. And like I said, this is a 16-in-1, so this is perfect for being able to just dock your iPad Pro or computer or whatever the case may be and just set it and forget about it and then all of your screens populate, right? So on the front, you have micro SD and SD card slot, three USB-A 3.0 ports, two USB-C, and a headphone jack as well. And then on the back, you have two more USB-C ports. One of them is actually for power pass-through and it supports up to 100 watts. Then you have two more USB-A ports, three HDMI ports, one with the capability of outputting 5K, the actual power adapter, and a microphone in jack, so a headphone in jack. So that's a 16 in one. I'm gonna link it also, I'm gonna link all these things down below because I actually forget how much that is. I think it's about $150. 
It does come with its own power supply, so that's an important note to have. I wanted to make sure that my dock came with its own power supply, so if I don't have anything plugged into it, I can still use it as a charging dock too, guys. So that's the basis 16 in one. Then I have this lamp right here that I've had for ages that you guys love. I have a Note 10 5G sitting on a Pitaka Mag Easy charging wireless case, all these names that they have, but this is, what, this is the guy that you can just throw on the back and it throws like that and then you can just kind of slide it right in and you're good to go. So it's one of those like modular wireless charging battery banks, but again, this Note 10 gets like zero use. I use it sometimes as a secondary camera for the channel. And then the last few things on the desk, I have my Logitech MX Anywhere S2. You guys have heard about this a million times. The newest addition has to be this Satechi keyboard. It's a Apple dedicated keyboard, finishes in aluminum in the space gray colorway, so it fits the Apple aesthetic really well. Charges via USB-C, has three different connectors, so you can connect this to three different devices at the same time, and it brings these little nubs that you can actually attach on your own to give it a little more lift. But I actually really, really like this accessory, and I'm choosing this, as you can see, over the Apple dedicated one. So, good stuff, Satechi. Really, really like it. And then lastly, we have to talk about the actual iPad Pro. So let me grab that guy, disconnect it from here. So this is the 2018 256 gigabyte silver version for the 12.9 inch. As you guys can see, it only has one camera. I always have my Paperlike screen protector on it, link below, and then my dbrand skin on the back, also link below, guys. And no, the dbrand skin does not get in the way of the three pin connectors with the Magic Keyboard. It has no issues whatsoever, which I'll show you guys right now. So you can see that it's all good to go. So it's just hanging, no big deal. The keyboard is there, and the dbrand skin is still on there. So just yank it off, dbrand's still there. And then that brings us to the last accessory, which is the Magic Keyboard. I've been using the Magic Keyboard on the desk mostly as a docking station. So I'll put it here, and it's either plugged in on the left-hand side charging already, or I'll just plug in the USB-C port directly to the iPad if I want to get that secondary monitor support. And then the Magic Keyboard, you guys have heard, I've done a million reviews on it. This thing is amazing. I have zero complaints. Yes, it's extremely expensive, but this is the threshold. Like this is what we compare every single Apple or iPad Pro keyboard accessory or keyboard trackpad accessory to. No matter no matter the fact that it's $350, and even if somebody comes out with a $50 version, we're always gonna compare that trackpad experience at least to this Magic Keyboard because it's absolutely flawless. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. This is my desk setup tour, my final one that we're gonna have up here in New Jersey before I take it totally apart. And I'm really excited to build the new one once we get down there. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys think the audio is getting a little bit better because we did upgrade the audio in my last video. And until next time, peace.